Hello. Whether you are a seller or a buyer of a business, one of the most important factors that will determine the successful sale and purchase of a business is the type of financing being utilized. There is a plethora of information online, business articles, and financing books that discusses all of the different types of financing available when starting a business or buying a business. Based on my research and experience, I've identified 12 different ways to finance the purchase of a business, leaving the best option for last. And here they are. Number one, friends, family, and fools. I laughed when I first heard this back when I was in law school taking entrepreneurship classes at the University of Florida. But it's true, it's not uncommon for an entrepreneur to ask a friend, a family member, or a fool to lend them money to start or to buy a business. This is a quick and easy method to get money, but the downside is that mixing business with friends and family is risky business. Number two, personal savings. This is obvious, right? Entrepreneurs will typically have some type of savings they have accumulated, which will be used as startup capital or as a down payment to buy a business. Number three, credit cards. If you have good credit, this may be another quick and easy option to get money to finance a startup of a business or as a down payment to buy a business. The downside is the high interest you will have to pay. However, this is also a very good bootstrapping method. Number four, rollovers. This typically involves taking your 401k and rolling it over to buy a business without taking a taxable distribution or having to get a loan. Number five, a secured line of credit. This involves pledging equity in your house as collateral for a line of credit that's issued through a bank. This is a fast way to get access to capital, but the downside is that you put your home as collateral. Number six, unsecured line of credit. If you have great credit and buying a historically profitable business with solid tax returns as proof, a bank could extend a line of credit without having to pledge your home or personal assets as collateral. Number seven, the portfolio loan. Under this financing method, you obtain a loan through a bank by pledging your securities, such as stocks in a company, but without having to actually sell those stocks. Number eight, the peer-to-peer -peer lending networks. This is a new way to access capital in this modern era. Yet, although it's untraditional, but it's better than applying for a loan through the traditional bank. This is a new way to access capital in a modern yet untraditional manner by applying for a loan from an online company which connects you with individual investors. They have streamlined lending processes, but you do have to have decent credit and no tax liens. Number nine, crowdfunding. Although this financing method is used more for starting a business or expanding one, you could also try to obtain money to buy a business through this method. Websites like kickstarter.com are an example of a crowdfunding platform. Number 10, traditional bank loan. This is the most traditional way to get a business loan, but typically the hardest and longest way to actually get it. The bank will look at the three C's of credit, character, capital, and capacity and do their due diligence before they do the approval. They will typically require a personal guarantee, personal and business collateral to secure their interest in the loan that they provide to you. Number 11, the Small Business Administration Loan or the SBA loan. The US government offers SBA loans to businesses for either working capital to buy a business or buy real estate for your business. Although the process is very time consuming and lengthy, it is worth trying to get. However, they also look at the three C's of credit. The most utilized one is the 7A. Number 12, and the best of all, seller financing. Whether you are a seller or a buyer of a business, I recommend that seller financing should always be considered by both sides when buying a business. Seller financing is best described in this following example. Seller is selling their business for $100,000. Buyer only has to put down $70,000 as the down payment or 70% of the purchase price. In order to make the sale happen, the seller finances the remaining $30,000 for the buyer at an interest rate of let's say six to 8% to be paid monthly over the next three to five years. The buyer in turn personally guarantees the payment of the $30,000 and pledges the business assets as collateral. The seller is basically acting like the bank 
And not only are they going to get the $30,000 to get paid, but also they're going to earn interest off of those monies. This is the most recommended financing method when purchasing a business. There you go. The 12 different ways to finance the sale and purchase of a business. In closing, I invite you to check out our other business informational videos, both on our website and our YouTube channel. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At Tempest, we help people gain time and opportunity through business ownership. Thank you.